Hi friends and welcome back. If you're joining with me for the first time, my name is Pastor Ruth. I'm the pastor of the Longmeadow Congregational Church, UCC in Auburn. Come to YouTube twice each week, every Sunday with a worship service for the entire church family, but also every Wednesday, I come here with a special message for the children of our church. And that's why I'm here today. And I'm so glad that you are here joining with me. And I have somebody else joining with me. And you've met her before if you've watched any other videos. This is Janet, who is part of our Christian education team. And she and I, and another woman, Jackie, who is also on our Christian education team, have been working on a project together. And I wanted to tell you about this project. Now, we all have different abilities, different skills, and we like different things. Mm -hmm. So I am the pastor of the church. I'm the minister of this church. And that's a word that people say, oh, this is Pastor Ruth. She's our minister. But you know, in Christian churches, Everybody is called to be a minister. Now, I do special jobs as the pastor. So I'm there on Sunday and I preach on Sunday. I will visit people in hospitals. I will do weddings and funerals and things like that. And those are part of the skills and the abilities that I bring. But there are all kinds of other ministries in the church. In fact, the Apostle Paul said in a letter that some are called to be apostles and some are called to be prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers to, and his words were, equip the saints for the work of ministry. In other words, to support people in the church in whatever ministry that they're doing. Now, Janet comes from a background of working in schools for many years, right? Yes, fact, yes. You were an occupational therapist? Yes, and in schools and in a lot of settings, I'm always looking for an activity that helps teach that concept. So that's, that's kind of my gift, I think. Right. And Jackie is a teacher, right. and she's used to developing lessons in, in different age groups of, of children. And, uh, and so we've been working together, right? and it was just more recent that we started talking more with Pastor Ruth about um, how to connect the lessons that we um, pull together with what Ruth's message is in church. Right, what we, and what we do here on YouTube, and because they work together and they formed a team where they can support each other in their ministries by bringing their different skills together, then they talked with me about, and it's my job to support them. I'm not an educator, I'm not a teacher, I'm not an occupational therapist, that's not where my skills are at. But I, so I don't want to tell them what to do. But I want to say, I want to support them, and I want to say, how can I help you to do what you do so that it makes what you're doing more joyful and easier to do? And so we decided, why don't we connect what I do here on YouTube with what they do on Sundays? And so, actually, there's a number of different parts of the ministry that you do. So you, can you tell me, what are like the major parts of the Christian education program here at Long Meadow? Well, my focus has been mostly on children. And when I see children come to church, sometimes it, if they're getting used to the routine and what's happening, it's good to have an activity to do just yeah. to help them to listen. So we put together worship kits. Yeah. So when they come to church, you can look for the section and, and use the worship kit during the service or take it home. We also have our lessons to go. Mm -hmm. Should I talk about that? Yeah, I'd love okay. to talk about okay. that. Okay, so like for the first part this year, we're going to be talking about creation. So we have a lesson coming up, and a kit will typically have a coloring sheet. It will have, sometimes this one has a, a, a workbook that goes with it for the, throughout the series. Um, our first lesson is about light and um, 
and bringing Ooh, light fast. into the. So we have a kit that you'll be making a light switch, and there's there's crayons in our kits. Also, you've got coloring pages. Yeah, there's coloring pages. So each each week that we do a lesson, there are different activities in the um, the kit for you to do at home. And a lot of these lessons, they go home with grandparents who are having kids come to their house during yeah. the week, and they're doing after school activities, and it gives them a way of being ministers of That's the right. church and taking these activities and uh, lessons from the Bible to their family. We also, Jackie and I just love children's books, so we picked out our favorite books, and what we can do is we can put that into the, um, these two books, we can put it into this YouTube, we can do yep. the link at the bottom, so you can look for these. Um, all the lessons are based on scripture and Bible stories. So um, most of the children in our church have a Bible um, at home. And if they don't, we loan them one. If you are doing any of the lessons or the YouTube and you need to look it up, you can use any Bible. That's what's, what's great yeah. about all of this is that it's connected in that way. And so the, the books that we have here for people to borrow are all related to creation, to about how God has given us this wonderful earth and how we are called to take care of it. And so I'm going to put all of these titles and as well as the authors in the description down below. So if you want to get them, but if you come to our church or your grandparent or your parent comes, they can borrow these and return them so that other children can read them. So these are, are also going to be available to them. And there's, so they can pick up, and it's all put together into a bag, and they're different color bags. Um, this, this one just happens to be a green one. Uh, and so you just take it, and it's to go. And that's, that's yours to keep with mm -hmm. all, with the lesson, as well as any crafts, or any, sometimes there's songs and prayers and all kinds of things. The entire lesson is in a, a bag, and it's just for you to take home and to go with it. And so, there, you know what, Ruth, there was another um, part of uh, what we're doing, and we have a monthly breakfast here at our mm -hmm. church. Second Saturday of every month. So we put together kits, or we have coloring sheets and worksheets with crayons, and look for those. Yes. Because we'll have those available for families, because we like to give something to um, our families that come to breakfast are not necessarily people who come to this church. That's right. And we have information about the YouTube connect, uh, the link and uh, our service times and those and the contact information in the breakfast bag. That's so right. you can also look for those. And so you know, if you come to our breakfast, there's a we call them welcome bags, and they are just there for the children. They can do it while they're at breakfast, while the parents are eating, or they can bring it home. And it's just our way of saying, welcome, we're so glad you're here, mm -hmm. and we wanted to give that to you. And so, they're all different ways, and we want to connect it all together, mm -hmm. um, so that we all work as a team, and that they, and the Christian Education Committee, can let people know and support my YouTube videos, and my YouTube videos are going to be supporting the lessons that they make. And so when we work together, we're stronger. Mm -hmm. And it's a heck of a lot more fun. Yes. Than yeah. just working, you know, by myself or them working by themselves. We get to work together and we each bring our gifts, our skills, and what we are able to give to you is that much better because we bring it all. So we're going to be doing a series over the next few weeks on creation each lesson will be on a different day about creation. The first one, as Janet mentioned, is going to be on light. And so we hope that you will come to, uh, you'll come here on YouTube, listen on Wednesday, and then the following Sunday, you can have, you can come and pick up the lesson to go, or your grandparents or parents or whomever might be here can take it and uh, just bring it and share it with anyone. And that makes the grandparents also, or the parents or whomever, they are also ministers, and we get to support them in their ministry. And you know what else? The children who participate in this become ministers too. That's right. They learn a lesson about creation, and they'll tell their sibling and their friends and say, 
oh, we should, you know, we sh let's look over here. Look at the animals that live in this area. That's right. And so it, it also helps children to become our ministers as well. Absolutely. So whenever we work together, we can do so much more for God and for the people around us by serving them. And so we are so glad to be. I'm very excited about yeah. doing that yeah. this year. So um, there'll be that type of organization to these videos and we hope that you'll enjoy it and we hope that you keep coming back. So would you pray with me to end sure. this? Loving God, we give you thanks that we all are different. We all have different skills and different abilities, but we can work together and share our skills. And by doing so, we support each other, make each other stronger, and have so much more fun in doing it. Amen. Amen. So thank you, Janet, for joining oh. with me. Thank you for joining with me and putting this whole thing together. I'm really looking forward to working with you and Jackie throughout this year on this. And thank you for coming here and being with us. And we hope to see you again next week where we begin this brand new unit on creation. Until then, my friends, remember, I love you very much. But above all that, God loves you more than you can ever imagine. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.